Hello again and welcome back to my channel. It's been two or three weeks since I last updated and uploaded a video so uh, in my last video I said that what I would do was replace the tyres on the Moderna, in specifically the front tyre. So today uh, I'm going to wait, replace the front tyre and show you how I do it. So let's go. So the tools you'll need are as follows. You'll need a 17mm socket, a 10mm socket, uh, a 14mm ring spanner, a Phillips screwdriver and a rubber hammer. Now the rubber hammer is to um, knock the axle bolt through once you've undone it so that um, when you're hitting it on the end where you've taken the nut from it doesn't damage the threads. Uh, I'm going to also use a trolley jack to hold the front of the scooter up because the Moderna is reasonably front heavy. If you can see that, when you lift it, it doesn't stay back. When you let go, it drops. So I'm going to jack it up under the front uh, with a piece of wood and a trolley jack just to lift it. So I'll be back when I've done that. So that's the front of the scooter list lifted now and it's all nice and free. You can spin the wheel. First thing we need to do is to remove the trim, the chrome trim on either side so that we can get to the axle bolt. So you use a 10mm socket for this. Don't lose your bolt. Both sides. We'll go with the other side. Okay, so that's both sides off. Now the next thing we need to do, I don't suppose you strictly need to do this, but I'm going to do it just for completeness. Use your Phillips screwdriver to undo the screw which holds the speedo drive cabling. And obviously don't lose your screw, you'll need it later when you come to put it back together. So put the screw somewhere safe, gently wriggle and pull, and that's your speed or drive undone. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my impact wrench and a 14mm spanner on the other side of the bolt just to stop it from turning. I'm going to undo the axle bolt. There we go. Again, don't lose your bolt. Tap it through. And gently pull from the other side. Now when you're doing this, you need to take care because there are spacers and everything in here which space the wheel in the uh, axle. So you don't want to put lose any of the spaces and you want to make sure you know exactly where they go back when you're reassembling so that your wheel is not off center. So very carefully, I'm going to pull the axle retaining bolt out. Very carefully. Okay, the speedo drive is there. It's located on the wheel. I might not pull it all the way out, I might just pull it enough so that I can get the wheel off. Nearly there. Okay, pull it out of the brake camper. We're off there. We've got the wheel, there's a spacer there falling out. We need to put the um, speedo drive back together because it's fallen apart and it goes that way like that. Just like that, so that it turns. So we'll put that somewhere safe. The wheel's off. We've had a spacer fall out, which I'm pretty sure goes there, and it does. So we're okay, we're good to go now. Actually, no, it doesn't, it goes there, it goes that side. So it goes where the brake disc is there. 
So, next job is to let the tire tie down and see if we can break the bead. Just one point when you've got the tire off, whatever you do, do not squeeze the brake lever for the front brake. Because if you do, the piston in the front brake will push the pads together and stop you from reinserting the disc when you come to put your wheel back on and you don't want that. Okay, so we'll let the tyre down now using a, a tyre valve removal tool, tool. Make sure you don't lose the, um, the uh, Schrader valve insert when you remove when you're removing it. You need to put that somewhere really safe. Okay, I'll put it in the chrome fit in the chrome fitment along with the um, along with the uh, wheel bolt and um, the wheel hub nut. So the tyre's down now. It's flat. We need to see now if we can break that bead. So I'll come back when I've done that. I got really lucky there. I managed to break both both sides of the tyre bead by um, basically inserting a pair of tyre levers there, holding them down and using my rubber hammer I hit it there all the way around and it just popped off. So I was really lucky there. 